Hi, this video is on German Empire antiques. Um, I've only really got one set and a coin and banknote, um, but I thought they were of interest. I'll show you the my First World War Iron Cross second class. See the. Um, Crown and the W for Wilhelm Wilhelm the Second um, and nineteen fourteen and then on the reverse there's um the acorn leaves and um eighteen thirteen which was when the Iron Cross was first introduced I believed. So originally a, a Prussian Prussian decoration. But carried on through the um, German Empire. This actually came with a set. Now I bought this um, in about 99, 1998, something like that. And it came with the photograph that you see on the left. And this group photograph. And also the um, what's often referred to as the Hindenburg Cross although I believe the technical term is more actually on a cross but I think this is an interesting example because it's got the um, this paper packet is, is actually an envelope in which I think it originally came in like it came with the medal and that's what it was sold as by the dealer um, that this was the um, the original packet it came in. So there's some script on it. I don't know any German at all. So um, if that could be translated, that would be um, fantastic if someone could put that in the comments. So that's any work. Oh, these were made by different makers. Uh, these were a um, a veterans medal. Um, after the war, um, I think it was in 1934, you could apply for a um, Veterans Medal at the First World War. Uh, this example has got cross swords, which means it was for combatants. And these were made by different makers. This is made by T and T L. Um, I have looked up. I can't pronounce um, the, the the maker or um, where it was made, but they are. I think they are interesting that you can tell that. Going back to um, the photograph with the Iron Cross, so the um, the photograph the photograph has is is the as they were the um, the postcard form. Oh, it's that way around. And uh, likewise, again, if someone could translate that for me, I would be most appreciative. Presume it's just the name and what I don't know, is that June 1916? But yeah, I think that's I think the Iron Cross is another of the the world's famous medals. Now the Iron Crosses as well, um, I haven't looked this up but I know on this ring they um, they often have the, the maker's marks on them. I haven't looked this up, it has got maker's marks on there but I couldn't really make them out. As the, um, the, actual, the actual outside of the cross is silver but the actual internal piece is um, actually iron hence iron cross and you can see where he's wearing the ribbon on the uniform there's the um, the postcard of which came with the medals and was um, meant to be part of the set by the dealer 
So that cost me £35 about 16, 17 years ago, something like that. That, uh, oh, the, um, the, like, too small to be a regiment, but I, uh, that group photograph hasn't got anything on the reverse. I think it's interesting as well with, to put with these, um, my auntie goes to France and um, several years ago she brought me back this First World War period German banknote which I think is really attractive and sits nicely with the uh, other couple of pieces I have and also this coin um, a small coin um, See there, ten. Ten minus eighteen seventy-five. That cost me fifty pence from a boot sale. See the German Imperial emblem there. The same as what's on the um, on the banknote. I think it's really interesting. A nice piece of um, German Imperial memorabilia. Say for fifty pence, and it's solid silver. Can't go far wrong with that. And uh, how about that? How about a very small, small little group? But I think there's interest there. I say I've never personally, I've never seen another one of these medal packets. So hopefully that's been of interest to someone. Thanks very much.